Hello Go lovers. In this screencast, I will be showing you how to work with JSON in Go. We will be looking at how to convert your Go data structure into JSON and how to write that JSON into a test file. So let's get started. I don't like copy and paste screencast, so I'm going to be typing the code. Um, I will start by creating a new package main, func main. And um, I'll create a new function called check error. All right, if error is not near, uh, I'm going to log theta error. So I, I need the standard package, not this one. Beautiful. So the next step is to create a new Go data structure called message type message struct title is a string body is also a string you can add anything here like integer or a slice so but I'll keep it simple let's create a new instance of message um, hello world and body is this is a wonderful message I am sending to you. All right, now that we have our instance created, the next step is to convert this into JSON. The, the easiest way to do this is to, um, I can say data, json.masha, um, message also this this also returns an error we can check for error here and this is a slice of bytes so we can we can fmtp uh, string turn this into a string and print it this is one way of doing this but um, as much as this is very simple to do, I'm not going to do this. I will show you another way and then I think you're going to like it. There are several ways you can use the data. So I will go ahead and create a buffer. Um, new bytes buffer. And create a new encoder. Uh, JSON.encoder. New encoder. And passing the buffer right to so we're going to call the encoder to encode our data which is message all right now we have the message stored in the buffer and we can choose to dump it anywhere this is very powerful right we can put it in a text file we can put it in standard output we can even write it to any object that supports the right hand interface one single reason why i really like this approach instead of the marshalling and unmarshalling approach so the first place i'm going to send it to is the standard output so i'll use io copy to os.std out and what am i sending i'm sending my buffer and you can see the json is here so we the data is stored in our buffer and we can copy it to anywhere. So instead of standard output, let's copy it to a test file. And close this screencast. So I'll create a new test file. OS.create uh, message.json. We can check for error quickly. I don't know where this is coming from actually. We can check for error now that we don't have any error if here we let's assume there's no there are no errors we can defer the closing of the file all right then this is where we need to change it now create os dot create supports the writer interface let's go and look at it quickly uh, create returns file file supports the writer interface. Um, let's look for this. Uh, this is getting deeper and deeper. But I know that I suppose the writer interface, so we can replace this os.std out with file. 
and execute voila so you can see our data is here so i don't like a capitalized um, character in json feed so i'm going to add the json tag to our structs so i change it to title body will become body all right let's rerun the code and we have we have it here so you see title body all right so that will be all for this screencast um this is real quick i think the takeaway is um this buffer approach is better to me because with it you can write it to a test file you can put it into standard that p2 can even convert it to a string by doing let me comment these guys out and you can do fmtp.print buff dot string so you you see that you are not really losing anything by using the buffer instead of the marshalling approach and we run this again and look at our json on the standard output so if you don't want to use co io dot copy to pass in the os the standard output just convert the buffer into a string and then print it to the screen thank you so much please i'm just starting out you can support me by subscribing to my youtube channel and um, yeah i'll every now and then i'll be releasing new screencasts on go and some on php thank you